Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share with you some important points about stretching. I've been looking forward to doing this video for a while now. I've got my special guest here with me and it's none other than my main man, Ibrahim Jeffrey. Ibrahim, how are you? Good man, I'm good. Thanks for having me man. I feel like a special guest. Yeah, 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 you are a special guest indeed and we're going to be talking about stretching a little bit. We actually, before we get into the stretching, let's tell us Tell us about the, the story that we had in the amazing uh, island of Zakynthos in Greece. Yeah, so basically it was, uh, we were chilling in Zakynthos beach um, and uh, obviously we had a few you know, game of rackets, you know. Uh, and as we were as we chilling, right, you come up with a brilliant idea. Rahim, you know what we should do? We should, we should actually stretch out. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a massage place uh, next to the beach. To be fair, in the UK we don't have that, right? So I was like, you know what, yeah. right. I, haven't, I haven't had a massage for years, right, at this point. And I was in a sunbed, my body was exhausted from the swimming and the rackets that we were playing. And uh, yeah, I, I was just at this point, I was like, you know what, let's do it. You know, I, I haven't done it before. Exactly, yeah. And then uh, we, were, we both went, <laughs> and you had one person, I had one person, we were sitting opposite each other, right? And all I remember is that woman telling me, what the hell's wrong with you? Your body, you're, you're, you're like a rock. Exactly. Yeah, you're like a rock. That's what she said. That's exactly what she said. And I was like so confused. Like, how? why is Ibrahim like a rock? What's going on? Uh, the thing is, initially, you know, I took it as a compliment. But I was like, actually, at this point, no. Right? Like, she was trying to say that you're strong. You're like, you're strong as a rock. But I don't think that's exactly what we hit. Yeah, she said, oh, wow, we're strong. But actually, this is, she was, she, it was concerning. She was like, wow, you, you, your muscles are so tight. What are you, what, what have you been doing? And I was like, you know, I train a few times. Like, do you run? I was like, yeah, I run. Uh, I was like, do, do you do any training? I was like, yeah, I do calisthenics. You know, like, I, was, I go in the park and I do pull-ups, push-ups. I, I don't go to the gym. So, uh, yeah. she was like, but the thing is, like, man, she's like, look, feel it. She made me feel my own, like, legs. Like, this is not good. It's not, like, after a while, you know, yeah. you walk, right? Such a surprise to you, right? Yeah, it was a surprise to me because I thought to myself, you know, I'm a young guy, you know, I do basic, you know, running, calisthenics. Like, I'm not, I'm not really doing heavy, heavy weights, right? I'm doing just body weight, really. That's right. So I thought to myself, you know, I, like, I'm not that bad, right? Surely, like, it's not, it's not as bad as she's made. But she, she, she basically was telling me off, like, what the hell are you doing with your life? Yeah. Meanwhile, as she was telling you all this stuff, like, I was getting, I was getting wrecked by the, the massage that she was doing onto me. Like my, I had like you know little feelings of like tightness in my in my calves and my back, and when she'd go over them, I I was getting into some real pain at some point, and so it was clear to me that like you know something was <laughs> maybe not quite so right with me as well. Because uh, she was, they were both having a go. It's basically it was I think it was her mother. Or something. They were rinsing us. They were rinsing us. <laughs> she's she's rinsing me in Greek after a while, right? <laughs> you can understand. But I didn't know what she was saying. Okay. And uh, she basically like like beginning it was like wow well, like you know you, you you know you got you train wow it's like and then after I was like yeah you need to you know you need to really stretch you have to have a stretching routine because because yeah. she's like exactly. she's undoing she's like denotting my muscles right and it, everything was just like just so tight like you you know you, after a while yeah. and, uh, even saying my neck as well my neck also was, she was like do you do you do you go on a computer do you use computers like yeah I was like yeah I do use computer I have a monitor it's like yeah you're basically saying you, you're, you're one side so you're lopsided basically one neck your, your posture is wrong because your muscles are kind of not aligned exactly well that's a, that's that's the thing isn't it we're currently living in a generation now where we're having this ongoing stress epidemic in many parts of the world Everyone's like, you know, living their corporate lives, you know, spending like a minimum of seven to eight hours in front of the computer. And uh, after that, we go back home and, you know, we have the luxury of having like everything to our, you know, basically like we can deliver food to our house. You know, we just need to use our fingers to quickly like get an order in or even working from home. You know everything that we're doing we're current we're, we're doing it in a stationary state so what i'm trying to say is that like whilst there's so many benefits that we have like currently with modern technology um there's also some drawbacks and you know staying being stationary all, and all the time because it kind of like builds on stagnation and uh, immobility which has become a problem and that becomes like a bigger problem for you later on in your in your later years in life right no, you're right honestly like uh for sure, like, I felt like 
uh, if I didn't change now, I think that, I think that was the wake up call to me. To be honest, she was like, "Yeah, yeah this is not good. You need to really like f stretch before every. She stretched before and after. She even recommended the stretching routine. Actually, she's like, you should do a stretching routine, right? I was like, maybe yeah. I should do a stretching routine. It's like, uh, like, do you have a recommendation? She's like, no, no. It's like, go on YouTube. <laughs> Just like, yeah. figure it out yourself. YouTube is basically the source of all, and Google are the source of all information these days. Whenever you want to do, you know, find out about something, you either Google it or YouTube it. That's just the way it goes these days, isn't it? Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. But, um, yeah, like, uh, anyway, she was thinking after, I think after after that, when I came back from, from Zach and Toast, I was like, you know what, I'm going to start stretching after. So I, I do kind of that's stretch, true. like a basic stretch before I run, but I wasn't, I wasn't doing a really, I wasn't really, uh, like, really uh not not much detail right i just kind of you know just doing basic leg stretches but like doing doing a routine stretch like every single day whether you're not training or not training is important because actually sometimes even when you sit down it's like when you when you i'm in work right i'm sitting down in front of a computer screen the muscles that you're that are you know, they're using straining looking for the computer right uh the bad posture is actually using a lot of muscles right so like stretching out and like aligning it is, is definitely uh so what i wanted to tell you is that i did a little bit of, but you you got the practical experience of going ahead and uh, doing the stretching straight away whilst i was doing a little bit of like my own research about stretching and i found that actually there's a number of different benefits that you get with stretching and I was actually, you know, really surprised because there was more than 10 benefits that I saw from like several uh, sources. And I picked the top three that I want to share with you today. Um, number one, uh, I'm going to read this out, is flexibility. Uh, regular stretching can help you increase your flexibility, which is crucial for your overall health. Not only can improved flexibility help you to perform everyday activities with relative ease, but it can also help delay the reduced mobility that can come with aging as well. So that's the first one, flexibility. And yeah, it, yeah, sure. Like um, from flexibility, like I, I'll tell you my from my experience. Like I've been recently training with my um, friend of mine, who's like he's he's been doing Muay Thai for a long time, right? So we do we do a bit of sparring together. Muay Thai is like uh, is mixed martial mixed arts. Martial arts or yeah, it's kind it? of like striking. Yeah, martial arts. Sorry, yeah, yeah that's so right. I'm, I'm not very experienced. He's more experienced than me. He's been doing it for a while. But I've been training with him, and what he's been saying is like. Your only issue is that you're not flexible. My kicks, right? So, because a lot of the kicks that you do in Muay Thai, you use your hips, right? The hip flexors. It comes from the hips. So, like, I, I, I feel like, like when you're when you're not flexible, it really restricts you. It restricts your movement. It restricts your power. It's a lot of this. So I couldn't. I can't kick that high, right? And even and he's yeah. he's trying to get me to stretch. You need to be more. He's stretch. He's trying to push me to stretch, like you know, certain stretches for Muay Thai before our training session, right? So every every Monday and Wednesdays we can spar together and do a little, uh, you know, pad work together. But my issue is that I can't kick as high as he can. He's like, you need to stretch, man. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one: stretch. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Like you know, a lot of us actually need to do it because there's. Um, you know, there's a couple of us that want to get like the performance, you know, inside and, you know, there's a couple of us that want to be a little bit more, you know, relax, feel a little bit more, you know, kind of like flexible and when you, if we're practicing yoga or whatnot. But uh, I think it's also important for those pe poor people, the cr people that have chronic health issues, right? The people that can't do the running, the people that can't do the cycling, all of that. When they're just, you know, unfortunately, you know, bed bound, it becomes really critical for them for the fact that they can't move. So stretching, you know, uh, is important, and because and and it's also uh, e well relatively easy because and just about anyone can do it, just about. So that's why you know if you can't run or if you can't you know kick uh, and uh, what's the martial art that you were saying? What was it called? Muay Thai. Muay Thai. If you can't do Muay Thai, you know, stretching is great because it, there's a number of reasons. And we'll move on to the second reason here that. What, what I found was that it, it improves your posture, as you mentioned as well. Uh, muscle imbalances are common and can lead to poor posture. W one study found that a combination of st strengthening and stretching specific muscle groups can help reduce musculoskeletal pain and encourage proper alignment. Uh, and that in turn can improve your po overall posture, which becomes really important i can tell you from my own experience because i uh, i would kind of slouch a little bit forward and i'm still working on that until today you know posture is really important isn't it 
No, totally, man. I get you. Honestly, like, uh, just, you know, like when I'm staring in front of a computer screen, because we have two monitors in my office, right? And I'm there after literally midday. I'm doing this. I'm literally looking at the, looking at the roof, trying to twist, because it, 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 it does your neck in. Like, it, something about the, the current office, you know, environment, right, is not good for your posture. It's going to ruin it, okay? So if you don't have a good stretching routine and you re realign it, after a while, I'm not sure what's going to do to it. Everything going to be like... Uh, yeah. you know, it's because this generation of using computers is actually, it's quite new. Not, it's not, it hasn't been around for too many decades. You know, the fact that we're locked in the offices on using computers. So, like, we might find that there's going to be a lot of problems, you know, down the line with a lot of people with, with this. And that's what, why stretching becomes so important. No, 100%, 100%. Yeah. Even phones, iPhones, like phones that like you're on the phone and you're, you're doing this. So you're, yeah. you're, like, you're kind of always looking down, right? Uh, people are looking yeah. at their phones, crossing the road, right? That does their neck. Like, obviously, that's dangerous for various other reasons, but it's just like... We, we, the these technologies that we've been using they've changed our postures over time and it's just if we don't i don't adapt and like you know correct it there's going to be some yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely and the third reason that i had and this is one is one of my favorite is stretching is great for stress relief when you're experiencing stress there's a good chance of muscles go tense right that's because your muscles tend to tighten up in response to physical and emotional stress. And as a tip, one source says to focus on areas of your body where you tend to hold your stress, such as in your neck, shoulders, and upper back, which are what, what I think is the most common areas of where you can hold those uh, stress and tension. Yeah, no, I'm saying, um, yeah, I, I agree because um, I read a book quite good, just because the, bo the body keeps the score, famous book, right? And, and the, the author talks about how like stress and trauma kind of it physically affects your body, right? It stays in your body, and it, and body it, exactly. Yeah, and it tightens things up. And actually, you know, when you when you're so the fight and flight response, right? When you're when you're in fight, that's you know, it. Your, your body tenses up and your your adrenaline rises. If you're own, if you're constantly in a stress state you, your body is never going to relax and, and actually by stre stre stretching and kind of uh, doing kind of relaxation muscle, I, i'm sure that's that's the whole point of yoga right i'm sure it, that's that's one of the yeah. reasons why it's so beneficial because it does all these things with these movements and people come out of it like you know they feel relieved they feel like they've, they've lost like a whole load of weight off their shoulders and whatnot yeah so stress buster that's really important especially you know in our current eras at, at the moment you know it's great uh, and you i think i remember you were telling me one time that it, you you pr prefer to do your stretches in the morning because it kind of like relieves you and makes your day a lot more better doesn't it yeah oh my god amazing like you know like i wish i was just more consistent with it that's my only issue sometimes i wake up and i don't i, I do them so i don't when i don't do them I'm groggy, I'm like a bear, okay? Like, just don't... I'm I don't, can don't imagine that, okay? yeah. I'm moody as hell, okay? But when I... <laughs> honestly, right? Don't really hear that, Gordon. <laughs> when I... No, when I, when, I, when I do my stretches and I, you know, I woke up early and I'd done my thing, I did my prayers... Peaceful my, panda, yeah. You do the whole thing, like, even, even like, even like, because, you know, we're, we're Muslim, right? We, we pray and, like, we do all these movements, right? Even you're doing these movements, your prostration, your standing, that movement actually after you finish your prayer you're, like, you're a bit more relieved because otherwise if you're if you don't move and you don't like move yourself yeah and you're, you're just uh i don't know if you're just tense you just you go into your work or you go into that you start the day and your your muscles are already kind of like tight yeah to fight someone and then it's like you know you just re relax chill out right do your stretch yeah. right? and just you'll you know, exactly. start your day you know relieved rather than um uptight and i just want yeah exactly and i just want to go back to like you know the issue with like you know people that have some, like where people are suffering with like chronic illnesses where they can't move you know at least maybe they can do like some stretching and so that makes it applicable for everyone so can you please share with us your your top five like stretches and uh you know the easy ones that just anyone can do you know, maybe from like their bed or whilst they're standing for a little bit or on, or on the floor, something to, you know, just help people get on with like, you know, their lives in a positive way, you know, and, you know. So please, Ibrahim, can you share with us your top five stretches for our audience? Uh, my top five stretches are...
Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button or leave me a comment in the comment section below or you can subscribe for more videos. My name is Kasim. Thank you so much for watching.